set date time make sure you're at the right observing site yep unpark m22 I picked m22 because it's about 50 degrees to the east now I've been having some good weather. Um, my shifts no longer um, line up with good weather and then bad weather on the weekends. And I've been able to get out and have a bit of uh, a play. And we've had some um, changes that are gonna make uh, our imaging a lot better. Um, number one, I borrowed a Zoo um, 2600 Duo, the color version, and I've started guiding. Now that's interesting, even in the shit seeing, we're getting one and a half pixel movement. Hmm. And it's a little bit windy too. Well, the good thing is it's guiding. Now the guiding is a little bit uh, touch and go, especially in these windy conditions. It was about 10 or 15 kilometres an hour last night and you can see there's gusts that push, it's a bit of a sail. But um, I was getting in a high one arc second, um, uh, arc second um, guiding, but I'm pretty sure that we can do better than that. Maybe not under one arc second, but it's definitely going to be down near one arc second when it's not um, blowing its head off. And also, um, Ocal Collimator, I'll ring them up. I'll do a video on these. These are, these are quite good for uh, someone like myself who pulls the scope apart every day and then puts it back together and it's got to try and eyeball with a collimator, with a uh, Cheshire and a, and a laser because you can never get your eye in that right sweet the sweet spot but anyway i found this to be really really good and um uh, we'll talk more about this later so the guiding and also i did all the trusses made sure all the trusses were um uh, exactly the same like to the millimeter length and um and you know, really just went over the whole scope as a whole. Um, totally redid the secondary positioning when I had the OCAL in, and um, yeah, things things are looking up. Um, was no problem when shooting a little bit lower than where we are now. No problem to get usable twenty second subs, which is something that is unheard of for me. You've seen most of my stuff has been three seconds, and um, I might put uh, I was shooting the flame nebula last night and I cranked the gain right down and did 20 second subs on that and I was just stacking 50% of it uh, because of the wind and we got some really really usable um, images so exciting to see what's um, what's going to be on the horizon also done some solar system imaging did a bit of imaging on um, on Saturn, the last uh, two nights, last night was crap, but um, 
um, Saturday night was, was usable. Now this is going to Mars. You can hear how loud it is. We're quite close to it. I'll stop talking for a second. This is not the top speed that it moves at. It does, um, it does go quicker than that, but this is just a slowing speed. Nice and quiet. If you're under 20x, um, And there we are. Um, yeah, if you're under the 20x uh, sidereal speed, you can't even hear it. All right, we might, I'm not sure what you're looking at there. We might get that back to, just get it out of the road, point it back in the other direction. M22, we'll go again. Okay, so um, I'll stick a few images of Saturn up on the screen and I've got a few more videos coming. I think I'm going to pull it down, put it back inside. There's a bit of a storm coming, but um, hopefully we'll get it out again before the end of the week. As you can see, it's, it's, it's not much room, um, but promising results last night using the quad band Antlia filter and those sublengths, very, very usable. So look forward to more soon. All right, guys, just a bit of an update. Bye for now.